a revealing truth on the road to Emmaus, based on Luke 24, verses 13 through 35. The same day as Jesus' resurrection, two men were so sad and upset that they left Jerusalem. They didn't believe what they had heard from the women who had seen the open tomb. These men were not part of Jesus' 12 apostles. They were part of a larger group of disciples or believers. One was named Cleopas, but we don't know the name of the other. They walked along the road that passed through the village called Emus. As they walked along, they talked about all the things they had, that had happened. Jesus came near and started walking along with them, but they didn't recognize him. He asked them, what are you talking about? And they stopped walking and looked at him with sad faces. Cleopas asked him, are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there? Jesus answered, what things? The two started telling Jesus about himself. They said he was a prophet who was mighty in what he said and did. They told him how the chief priests and rulers had handed him over to Pilate and how he had been crucified. They talked about how they had thought Jesus was going to save Israel. Then they said, some women from the company amazed us. They were at the tomb early this morning and when they didn't find his body, they came back saying that they had seen angels who said he was alive. Jesus said, O oh, foolish ones and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. He told them the Messiah had to suffer like the first and then enter his glory by rising from the dead. Then he went through the Old Testament and taught them what God had written about his suffering, death, and resurrection. By now, it was late in the day. The two disciples were stopping in Emmaus for the night, but Jesus acted like he was going to go further. The two begged him to stay with them, so he went inside. They sat down for supper, and Jesus took the bread, broke it, and said a prayer of thanks, and handed it to them. Suddenly, they recognized Jesus, and then he vanished from their sight. They talked about the wonderful burning feeling that they had felt inside when Jesus was walking and talking with them. They were so excited that they ran back to Jerusalem, found Jesus' disciples, and told them how Jesus had walked and talked with them along the road.